Well, we've got the first uh, couple trees tapped here, and I'm going to be going around and tapping the, the trees that are closest to the house first. I've got a few in the backyard here, and then we'll we'll get a load of uh, buckets and taps and head out to the to the to the maple forest and see what we can get done out there. I'm using a, a couple different types of taps and equipment, and I'll kind of show you some of those things. But most of what I have is these. Uh, I bought these on uh, either Leader Evaporator or Amazon. I can't remember. I've got some blue ones and some black ones. And these are these are real good little plastic taps. They've, they've worked well. And uh, this tubing, uh, this I've reused now for two or three years. And I'm using a lot of buckets. These are frosting buckets and other kinds of, uh, of buckets that I've been using for a few years. Uh, they work pretty good. Some of the ones with plastic handles are starting to uh, break down a little bit. Some of the plastic starting to break on some of them. And so not all of them have uh, have a way to hang them anymore like this one's this one's all broken up uh, so I don't know how long they're, they're gonna last and I may need to try to get some new ones this year but I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have here I also have a couple of these I think I got these at Ace Hardware or somewhere but they have a real big uh, spile uh, the taps are pretty big on these uh, but these are nice because they're all together to tap the lid and the bucket um, and there's a little hook that hangs here that uh, the bucket hangs from uh, once this is in the only disadvantage is these taps are a little big so you got to drill kind of a big hole and i think that leads to uh, a little more damage to the tree but that's really not a big deal so yesterday the ssl family mom and i were out uh <laughs> cleaning cleaning buckets uh, it got up to almost 40 degrees yesterday and so it was a good day to uh to get the buckets cleaned and we missed a little bit of sap run yesterday but uh it's probably run a little bit today and it looks like you know this week and next week it's going to really start running so we had about 50 buckets uh these ones and the ones that i already have the hardest part really is just figuring out what lids go to what bucket i think so we'll have to still have a lot more to sort through we'll figure that out and then we'll uh we'll start making our way out to the to the maple forest out here and that's uh right out back there all that area and i'm pretty sure it's flooded but it's been cold so it should be ice right now so i should be able to get out and just walk out there and get everything tapped pretty easily this is one of the most uh most difficult times of year for me there's there's just so many things going on in february march and april <laughs> and uh getting all this maple syrup stuff started getting the trees tapped getting things cleaned up evaporators you know built and put together and getting ready to boil and then finishing maple syrup like every couple days at least every you know once or twice maybe three times a week i'll, I'll be doing batches of syrup uh, over those months and getting animals i usually animals will be you know giving birth here soon and i gotta start seedlings i gotta get the greenhouse <laughs> ready and start gardening planning and and so it's just so it's like all of a sudden it's just everything hits um, and we still have other you know life to live so so what i have to do when it gets down to this is just take one thing at a time so today tapping trees is on the agenda so we're going to get that done hopefully today and then move on to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing i've also got a few of these this year uh, thank you mom who sent these uh, to me to try out and i might be getting more of these these are uh, a little bit easier to manage than all the buckets um, they come with a, a special spile that hooks into the uh, bag holder and the plastic bag just kind of hangs in here and then this fills up i don't know how many gallons it holds probably holds a good four gallons in those bags so uh, they can hold quite a bit of sap most of the time i'm trying to go on the south side of the tree but these silver maples uh it's almost better if you get if you can see a good root coming out of the out of the ground on the side of the tree and kind of lead that up you know draw a line between that that big uh, root structure and one of these uh these trunks so the silver maples they'll grow into a split into a bunch of bunch of different trunks so uh you got a lot of sap flow coming up from that big root structure up into these branches when the sun hits them so sometimes i'll be on the south side of the tree sometimes i might be all on the north side of the tree uh it just depends i mean the sun's gonna hit hit it all at some point and uh, I'd rather chase up those uh, those big branches and try to get on that line than uh, just just focus on being on the south side alone. So, uh, only other thing I'm doing is just trying to stay away from my other tap holes from last year. Um, I don't really follow any any specific protocol on that really.
It looks thick enough. Looks like it just, uh, <laughs> it was thin right at the edge because I think the, the level of the water underneath has dropped a little bit since it froze, but the ice out here is pretty thick. But uh, the water underneath here is probably about a foot deep right now, maybe a foot or two deep in some areas. Some, some areas might be even three feet deep. This is all covered in, in ice right now. I guess the idea here is to get the trees closest to land be the easiest to collect from so we'll get these trees all up near the shore of the of the maple swamp and then we'll we'll move our way back into the woods until we run out of buckets and taps That's how you know you got a good hole and a good tree. The sap starts running like that on a day like today when it's not really even running that that good in most of the trees. So this will be a productive tree here. So let's do a little experiment here. I've, uh, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> so I have eight taps in this tree, which is uh, grossly exceeding the, the maximum amount of recommended taps. Uh, this is about an 18 inch tree. And I actually, I, I'm okay if it dies because I, I'm gonna cut this down anyway. So uh, this is right in the middle of my drainage ditch that I need to dig out that's gonna uh, drain all, all this water out of here at some point and so I'm gonna cut these these two down and probably that one so with eight taps so the recommended for this tree would be one maybe two taps at the most and so we put eight in it so let's see we'll see what happens we'll we'll check back with it uh, you know at the uh, once it starts getting leaves and everything after the the spring is uh, is through and we'll see if it's uh, if it's still alive pretty good sized tree so we'll see we'll see what happens did I tap it to death? Get over here. Bring it. Bring it. Ah, sit. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Ready? 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 Where'd it go? <laughs> this tree gets two buckets. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five five trunks basically so it always produces a lot All right, well that is about 80 taps uh, out in the field here. And I think I have, I wanna say I have about 30 or 40 more that I can put out. So, but I'm gonna run out of buckets probably. I'll have extra taps. So I may need to collect some more buckets this year. Well, we made a lot of progress today. I uh, just got about uh, maybe 75%, 80% of all the buckets and taps are out in the field and uh, collecting sap. It's, uh, it's not running too much today. It's kind of a cloudy day. It's just barely pushing uh, maybe 34, 35 degrees. And so it'll run a little bit at those temperatures. But uh, later on this week and next week, we're supposed to be uh, in 20s at night, 40s during the day. That is prime uh, sap running weather. And so we'll, uh, we should be able to load up quite a bit during that time. I am in a crunch this year. I have to build a new evaporator. I'm going to start on that tomorrow. Uh, and I also would like to build a shelter for it. I'm not going to do it in the greenhouse again this year. And it causes too much of a problem when I'm trying to heat the greenhouse and I'm trying to ventilate it at the same time. It's just, just too much, uh, too problematic. So we're going to try something new this year. So stick around for that new evaporator build. And hopefully I'll get a chance to, to start on a sugar shack at least. Otherwise I'll just be boiling outside this year. And uh, I guess that, that'll work just fine too. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video today, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed the little uh, maple syrup operation for 2020. This is our fourth season here for maple syrup, and so each year I learn a little bit and get, add a little bit to it and get a little bit more efficient. So hopefully we can produce better syrup and maybe more of it this year. So lots more maple syrup stuff to come. Hopefully you guys will stick around for that. Of course, subscribe if this is your first time to the SSL Family Dad channel. Love to have you tag along and check out those videos as they are released. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.